Hey guys, welcome back to Wind Waker. In this episode, we are mailing the love letter that Maggie gave us to give to Mo. Because we are the true hero of the American people, the postman. Or we kind of are trying to act like one. So, I'll see you guys back at Maggie's place tomorrow morning, actually. See you guys then. Okay, here we are. We are at Maggie's place early in the morning on Windfall Island. Oh, she's happy. Oh. Awkward. Honestly, you just don't understand, do you? Open your ears! Yeah. Silence! I'm telling you, we don't allow postmen here. Be gone, be gone! Don't be ridiculous. I went through great trials and tribulations to go all the way to the Forsaken Fortress and return Moe's letter. Silence! Be gone, be gone! Then please, be reasonable. Can you at least sign for the letter? Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Just acknowledge I was here! Yeah. Silence! Be gone! Be gone! Ugh, foolish man! Now you've made me angry. I cannot even look at you in the face anymore. Ugh, I feel I'm, I'm gonna... I gotta go cool my feathers. I'm gonna go get a beer. Or a coffee in this game. Well... What a wretched, wretched, un unruly postman. I don't know anything about any Mr. Mo in any Forsaken Fortress, and yet he always comes here bringing his letters. Does this Mo think I'll let him lay a hand on my one and only daughter, Maggie? I don't care whose letters they are, they'll never reach her. Oh, crap. Let's go after the postman. I hope he's all right. Where would you go if you were pissed off and you wanted to cool down? The local cafe, so let's head there. Because obviously that is where he is. He did not fly off, you know, back to Dragon Roost. He is in the caf cafe having a nice cup of joe. Trying to cool down. He's going to alright, I'm going to go. Go back and give him the letter and just walk out. Like a boss. But unfortunately, that's my job. Alright, let's see if he's in here. Hope he is. Hey, dude. Ugh, it's you. I'm sorry. You had to witness me fly off that the handle like that at Maggie's place. I'm most embarrassed. That man, just never mind. To tell you the truth, though, I came to deliver, deliver a letter addressed to Maggie from a moblin named Mo. Okay. I sent him the other letter, so if you can just hand me the letter, I will gladly give it to Maggie. Alright, I know you went through great troubles getting it from the Forsaken Fortress, but, you know, it's empty now, so... No worries. He probably went with Ganondorf to uh, Hyrule. Probably. That's probably 100% uh, true. Or he just stayed behind because he was in love. Probably hidden in like a bunker or something. Anyways, what do I was talking about? Okay. Point is, give me the letter so I can give it to Maggie and I can make her dream come true. Yeah. I'm going to deliver this to Maggie. Just hand it over. I'll do it. I've been saying this for like five minutes now. Give me the letter. You obviously are not allowed in there. That guy's pretty much a racist against you um, male men. So, I've got the Moblin's letter, which is Mo. Now, i got to take this to Maggie, and hopefully, I won't be caught. I'm counting on you to put this in Maggie's hands, and I thank you. You're welcome, man. Too bad you suck at your job. Welcome! Oh, my. You're a very small customer, aren't you? Well, that's fine, of course. You just feel free to uh, walk around, have a good time. Maybe uh, go to the back room if you know what I mean. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> Man, I've been going off randomly here. All right, let's go back to Maggie. Hopefully, I'll be able to hand her the letter without her father interfering with the love between her and the Moblin Mo. Yeah, th this is a weird side quest. What the hell was Nintendo thinking? Here we go. Charge! Yeah! Oh god, I'm gonna die. This guy's gonna to totally kick me out. Alright. Okay. Later, man. Bump a dump a turner, bump a dump a turner, bump a dump a turner, bro. Let's take out the letter. And present it to Maggie. Here's that 
Could it be the letter from Mo that I saw in my dreams? Ooh. Let me read it this instant. Sure, bunny lady. Um, this is Mo. I like you, Maggie. So much that I want to eat you for dinner. Did you hear that? Those words? This means, I mean, it must mean, can it be? This is a marriage proposal. What? What part of that sounded like a marriage proposal? It sounded like he wanted to eat you. Chicka chicka wow wow. You know, that comes first before marriage. Just saying. Um, okay, this will be the anniversary of your love. And it completely slipped my mind. I must thank you for the role that I played. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just a mailman. All right. And we get a piece of heart for helping Maggie out. So, let's continue on this adventure. Thank you, Maggie, for this piece of heart. I've got two more, two more to go to complete my 13th unit of health. You're a weird girl. You keep wearing those bunny ears. And, uh, yeah, you enjoy having a bestiality relationship with Mo. All right, guys. With the magic editing, editing I am back here on Outside Island. This is where I have a couple of things to do. Um, there's a side quest that we have to knock out here for a piece of heart. Let's talk to the pot lady first. I is that you, Link? Yeah, it's me. Well, look at... Okay, I'm safe. Yeah, I, I know. Look at me. I have a sword. How am I not safe? All right, every now... Okay, so the island is filled with monsters at night. It's so frightening. Nothing of interest. All right. <laughs> you saw the look in Link's eyes. Oh yeah, we're about to get busy. Let's see if taking off the uh, hero's charm does anything. No, she just she just says the same thing. Doesn't really. Ch okay, I really want to get out of here. Bye. Okay. Oh my God, is that the black pig from episode one? Holy crap, dude! It's been 51 episodes since I've seen this pig. Oh, Link, you made it back. Say, Link, do you remember the day you first caught this oinker? Yeah, I was just talking about that, man. 51 episodes ago, this happened. I, I was going after this, that pig like a ninja. Look at the size of this thing. He's, he's huge. Oh, my God. It, it, it's like I need some type of item to lift such a heavy thing. I wonder what I can use. Uh, my power bracelets. Okay. And we could jump with the pig, too. All right. We're taking Mr. Black Oinker with us because he is going to be the key to getting a piece of heart that's hidden here in Outset Island. So let us... I think I'm going to toss him off here. Yeah. This will save time. Let's, uh, let's go down. Sweet. All right. This is how we do this, guys. We need some bait. So let's go to my bait bag and get out some bait. And let me show you what he does. Hey. Here, piggy. Bait. Yep, that's right. He digs underneath the ground and gets money for you. He is the ultimate way of finding money. Not really, because after a while, he's going to just give you green and blue rupees. So, yeah, I'm going to uh, cut ahead to when I actually get to where I need to get. So, be right back. Okay. I just realized that I need to cross this bridge with Oinker. Man, I love you. Black Oinky, we've been through so much together. Remember that first episode of this Let's Play? Back when I was trying to be a ninja and sneak up behind you, but you wouldn't fall for it. Good times. Now, I don't even have to do that anymore because right now you are so slow and so heavy that I don't even have to sneak around you. I could just go up to you and grab you. Ah, <sighs> nostalgia. Anyways, help me one last time, Porker. It's time for us to get another piece of heart. And it's right there. Thank you very much. I will take that. And that is another piece of heart. That's three out of four. Now I'm one away from getting my 13th unit of health. Thank you, Mr. Oinker. All right, let me get more bait out for him. Why not? Just for his help. Here, get me some rupees, bro. I could use them. Yeah, the bait's on the other side. You kind of dug in the wrong direction, so... Yeah, seagulls will come and get the bait if you just drop it, so, yeah, they can be a pain sometimes, but it's not a big deal. All right, so, I think we're pretty much coming close to the end here, but before I go, I'd like to uh, say one thing. Maggie is a freak. Thank you. 
All right. But anyways, guys, in the next episode of Wind Waker, we're actually going to be knocking out a very, very important side quest that is required to beat this game. We are going to go after, after a Triforce chart that is hidden here in Outside Island. But in order for us to do that, we need to go through a series of gauntlet matches, um, wave after wave after wave of enemies. It's going to be fun. It's going to be entertaining. But most of all, it's going to be pretty challenging. So in order for us to actually succeed, I recommend that you guys follow along if you're playing and you're following along with me. Stock up on some fairies and some elixir soup and get ready for a challenge because this is going to be pretty hard. So, I'll see you guys in episode number 53 when we take on the gauntlet match here on Outset Island. Oh my god, will this be fun? I can't wait. This is going to be great. I can't wait. I'm going to speed it up and put a whole bunch of awesome music. You guys are going to love it. Well, I'm going to love it. So, I've rambled enough. I'll see you guys in the next episode.